Thank you. The fate of three members of the Kingsman Motorcycle Club who have been on trial since February is finally in the hands of a federal court jury here in Buffalo. The three face racketeering and conspiracy charges in connection with the double murder in North Tonawanda in the late summer of 2014. And our Dave McKinley has the latest on this complex case from the Information Center tonight. Dave. Scott, just a look at the numbers gives you an idea of how complex this trial has been. It's gone on for three months, involved testimony from 60 witnesses and five hours of instruction from a judge before the jury was able to start deliberating the fate of these three men facing nine counts today. One of the defendants is Andre Jenkins, seen here in his Niagara County Court trial, where he was convicted in the fall of 2015 for the September 2014 execution-style slayings of two fellow Kingsmen, Paul Maui and Daniel Zemanski, behind the Kingsman Clubhouse in North Tonawanda. He is already serving life without parole. The question for jurors here at the federal courthouse in Buffalo is whether Jenkins was part of a conspiracy and whether he conducted the hit on the orders of 67 year old David Perk, who up until his arrest in Florida served as the national president of the Kingsman and this man, Timothy Enix, a former regional president of the Kingsman, who's the only one of the three out on bail and who declined comment as he left the courthouse. The three were among 16 defendants charged by the U.S. attorney on a variety of counts relating to drugs, weapons and violence. After a series of raids on locations throughout western New York tied to the Kingsman, a few of the other charge of the others charged rather have pled guilty and are now cooperating with authorities. During closing arguments, defense lawyers for the three currently on trial brand those who testified against them as liars out to cut their own deals and save their own skins. But those defense attorneys all declined comment today, as did the team of federal prosecutors involved in this trial. In the Information Center, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.